guys, it's Kelly. It is Wednesday, March 8th, approximately 11.56 a.m. And I wanted to get ready for the day with you guys. It's a Wednesday and I don't have classes on Wednesdays, which is so great. But I do have work because I got a job this semester. We'll get into that. But I just wanted to film me getting ready and talk and update you guys. I feel like I haven't really updated you in a bit. And I want to because this is literally like my therapy. Like I'm no longer in therapy. And I probably should be, so this will do for now, so yeah. So it's Wednesday, and spring break starts Friday in two days, which is very exciting, very needed. Um, I'm really excited. I'm going to Davis's house in North Carolina Friday night, and then we're gonna drive to his beach house the next morning, and then go to Charleston two days after, and then I'll be home Wednesday, so I'll be home like half of spring break, which is perfect because you know me i need to be home i'm like such a homebody and i go home like kind of a lot compared to my friends at school which i don't care i literally don't care i live close enough and i like it and it makes me sane so i have no shame but i'm excited for spring break because i've never been to davis's house before which is crazy because he's been to mine and like we've traveled together a lot but i'm really excited and then we're going to charleston and i went to charleston in the summer and it was the best i love charleston so much so i'm really excited to go back and just hang out there for a couple days before going home and then once i'm home some of my friends will be there too friends i haven't seen in a while so I'm, I'm really excited and also i get a break from classes and work which is so nice because i work at the radio station at my school and i like it but it'll be nice to have a little break you know and especially with classes too because I have some midterms this week. I have a massive bio test tomorrow morning and I'm a little traumatized from my first bio test of the semester that I did not do very well on. And when I mean not very well, I mean like it was not good. Um, but I've studied a lot more for this one so I'm really hoping it goes well. I'm very nervous, but I feel better. I even had a tutor. My friend Anna's boyfriend tutored me, so helpful. So I'm hoping that we're on the right track. Um, but I have to take bio for a core requirement, which is so annoying because I'm just not a bio girl and like I'm a digital technology and emerging media major. So tell me how bio has anything to do with that. I don't know, but Fordham just has like the lengthiest core requirements literally ever. So I have to do it. Um, and hopefully, you know, I don't have to repeat it or anything. Also, I do curl my eyelashes like Alex Earl but it makes such a difference, it's so great. Some other news, some personal news, is that I started Lexapro. I started Lexapro on Saturday night, and so I've been on it for a few days now. No, not feeling anything yet. Um, I know it's supposed to take a while, but um, hopefully I start feeling something. I'm taking it for anxiety. Um, I have anxiety, I have had anxiety since I was like very little. Um, but I just recently actually started doing something about it and I wish I started earlier just because like it just could have been avoided for so long like medication is so common and normal and no one talks about it which is why I'm talking about it because I don't get why it's not like talked about more I know like so many of my friends are on medication a lot of my family it's so normal and fine um, so yeah I'm I'm happy that I started it. It was a long time coming. Um, and hopefully, you know, I start to notice some changes. But even if I don't, it's literally a placebo, which is like good enough. But honestly, other than me starting Lexpro, which is a good thing, life has been pretty fine, which is good. Cause there was an era in the beginning of the semester where I kind of, was not doing so well and literally felt like I was going crazy and I don't feel that way anymore I feel a lot more sane which is great but yeah I've been good I've been spending a lot of time with my friends I've made a lot of new friends this year which is so great why would you not want more friends um, and it's just nice to kind of expand your circle and have a lot of people that you feel really close to especially in college because 
your friends at college are literally your family so it's really important who you surround yourself with and you want to feel good and comfortable and close with them and I feel that way with a lot of people which is really really great and a lot of different people too like a lot of people that do maybe don't really know each other too well but I love it and I want to like join it all and you know do do something but yeah I'm very happy with the people in my life right now which is really great aside from all that the biggest news of all is that I made the switch from Apple music to Spotify which if you know me is such a big deal because I've been such an Apple music girl since I got it like freshman year and I, it's all I've known and I made the switch to Spotify last week and it's been really good it's a lot of getting used to because I just literally have only ever known Apple music but I like it a lot. I got like the student discount because I'm paying for it myself, which is literally $5 a month, which is nothing at all. And it's crazy that music is that cheap. I feel like it could be so much more and I would still get it because that's just like a necessary part of life. But I'm a big fan of Spotify. You guys should follow me on Spotify. It's just Kelly Somalia. It's in the bio. I'm gonna add it to the bio of this. But I made all my playlists public. And Apple Music, like, I know that it can be used as a social media, but it's just a lot harder to use and not as, like, accessible for that kind of stuff. So I'm very happy that Spotify is kind of like a social media, which is cool because that's, like, what I want to do. Like, ideally, after college, I would love to do something with, like, music. So I feel like this is a great... It's necessary for me, if you know what I mean. And I just, like, literally i am obsessed with music. Like, I'm super into it. All of that. I'm really into Gracie Abrams' new album. It's so good. I was always a Gracie stan, but like this album really made me into a bigger one. And it's so annoying because she's coming to New York, but it's like during spring break, so I won't be here, which is actually the rudest thing ever. But I really love her, and my favorites right now on her album Good Riddance are Will You Cry, Full Machine, and Best, I'd say but she's so great. And I wish that she was going to open for Taylor for my show, but I have Phoebe, which obviously I'm not complaining. I love Phoebe so much. And I'm excited to see Phoebe again. But Phoebe needs to release new music. Like, obviously I love Boy Genius and I'm gonna eat up every single song and I have already, but nothing compares to solo Phoebe. I've also been super into the Japanese house. Um, I've always loved the Japanese house. Like the song Saw You in a Dream changed my whole life when I discovered that freshman year of high school um, and then they released Good at Falling their album end of sophomore year 2019 so and I was always obsessed with the album but I'm getting into their older stuff because I'm pretty sure they're releasing new stuff soon which is so exciting but I just love the Japanese house like that is a staple for me and it has been for so long and no one talks about the Japanese house enough like I know they are friends with the 1975 but the Japanese house is so underrated also my hair is like the longest it's literally ever been right now and tell me if you guys like it because I don't know I think I like it but I'm not used to it at all because I'm I used to get my hair cut really short like not really short but like here and it was it would be all one length and it would have horrible highlights highlights that looked like uh actually I'm not even gonna just not great highlights they did not look very natural and now it's natural color except it's like fading a little so it's getting lighter but I don't know I really like it like it's like comforting because it's so long but I've never had hair this long like in my life but um I guess I'm done with makeup like I always forget that my makeup routine is so short so my cousin's wedding is coming up which is crazy because they got engaged in December 2021 and I was like, I'm so excited for, for the wedding, but it's not for so long and it's literally in May, which is crazy that time is moving so fast. That's a whole other thing. I actually feel like I don't understand what's going on because how is the already spring break when I feel like I literally just moved in to sophomore year in August? But at the same time, a lot has happened since then, and I'm happy I'm no longer the way I was then because I was a little bit unstable. Um, yeah, September was like the worst month of my life, but I'm very happy to move 
be past that but still time is moving so fast and i that means that i'm almost done with sophomore year which means i'm halfway done with college which means that i have to like have a job and be an adult which feels so wrong because i feel like i'm in seventh grade seriously and it is scaring me it's really scaring me it kind of hit me last night that i'm halfway done with college and then that just means a lot of other things and i'm 20 this summer which is really weird and i don't know i feel like life is scaring me and i don't really get what's going on at all i don't know because i still feel like 12 a little bit like i still feel young but i can't think about that too much or i literally will like spiral so it's fine i think that's all i think for the rest of the day i'm gonna study get lunch quickly and then i have work at 2 30 to 6 and then i have a little spanish thing i have like a spanish zoom till 7. i don't know where the rest of the day will take me but i have a massive bio test tomorrow that i'm putting a lot of weight on a little bit unhealthily so just pray for me that it goes well i'm scared for myself ending this like i hope it went well i hope it did but yeah okay that's all thank you guys so much for watching this was kind of random and i kind of overshared a little too much but that is what i do that's what i do best i'm a cancer it's natural and hopefully it makes you feel close to me and i hope it feels like a facetime um okay i'll see you guys soon goodbye